Do you want to stop and wait for the plane? The Hunger Games is the, is the reason for my fame. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily taught me about how to deal with fame, but there were a lot of things that I felt like Katniss and I had a lot of, in common. She had to go to the Capitol and was all of a sudden put in these weird clothes and she didn't feel like herself and, and kind of feeling like a rag doll. Chins up, smiles on. There she is, Captain 17, the girl on fire! Now she's been there before and she's kind of like found a character that she can become to be comfortable. I was a, a huge fan of the book, so like, you know, when we were figuring out the mocking J pen and we were put the mocking J pen on and there were a couple moments where I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but the second one, I mean the moments of like, oh my god, I can't believe I have to do this are more like insane stunts. <laughs> like the reason I can't really hear out of my left ear. We were doing like a water stunt and I had to jump into this water with all these jets and then a jet went in my ear and I was deaf for like six days and never went to the doctor because I'm a genius. My life is different and Sometimes it's scary and sometimes it's sad to see things go because I still feel normal inside, so it's kind of sad to see some of the things change that I wasn't ready to change, but I love acting and I wouldn't be able to do anything else. Fortunately, The Hungry Games taught me nothing about men <laughs> and love. That's just good old trial and error, <laughs> like anyone else. <laughs>